Hey, I still am doing some Christmas cards. I am really, really in the mood to uh, finish up my Christmas cards. And this really put me in a uh, Christmas spirit because I thought when I saw this um, stamp stamp set, I had to get it, especially for my grandsons, because they're all teenagers now. And um, let's say I'm having a problem making uh, cards uh, for my grandsons because... You know, it's always easy to put a bow or ribbon or flowers, but when it comes more to masculine, I'm a little stuck on how, how to create something where the kids are going, oh, wow, this is from Grandma. So uh, when I saw this, I thought this was so adorable. And um, Art Impressions is a, a great, great company. And if you watch any of my other videos and you've seen some of my other cards and things that I make, I always do things a little bit out of the box. I don't like just ordinary cards and sayings and images. I do things that are just a little bit outside the box. And when I saw this one, I thought this would be perfect for my uh, grandson since they're all teenagers now. So this is the um, Art Impressions Unmounted uh, stamps, and they are great, uh, great quality stamps. And uh, here's the uh, sentiment also. And I don't really know how much I paid for this. I must have taken the, I took the uh, price tag off, but I'm sure, I think I might have paid full price for this at um, Archivers. But sometimes when uh, my motto is, is if you see something you really like, get it, because you never know you might not find it again. So I had to get this one, and this is what I created with them. And I'll show you that I made four, because I have we have four grandsons. There you go. And this is what I did with it. So I colored it with my Copics, added a little bit of um, uh, stickles. I had pipe cleaners that were like a um, pine. And my baker's twine. And the cute thing is, is when you open it up, it says, you rock. And look at Jingle Bell Rock, because they rock. Jingle Bell Rock. I think that is so cute, and I figured, ah, well, for teenagers, they should get a big kick out of it. And those are those, um, let me get them. I forgot exactly what they're called. Uh, these are the, these are the Wobble Springs, Action Wobble Springs. I got four dozen of them. I got a great deal. Uh, Customcrops.com. I got these, I think, last year. Great deal on these. But that's what you uh, use. So they open it up. There it is. And they always like some cash. So what I did is I just added a two from, added my little my envelope punch again, my good old gift card. Uh, added that. little embellishment on the back. So all they have to do is open it up and they rock. So here are my, and I just, oh, and what I did too is um, I'm really, really utilizing this paper that I got from Tuesday mornings. This is the Merry Mint from American Crafts. That's what I used for these cards and I just used just a little bit of a different background for each one of the cards, so they're just a little bit different. And then naturally, I really liked this uh, pine stamp that I got from rubberneckers.com. They're having a great sale also on uh, their stamps. And um, I think these uh, some of these uh, sentiments and some of these images were like $1.92 to $2.98. Great, great, great. Um, uh, deals on rubberneckers.com. Uh, Those are great uh, stamp company also. So I stamped them and naturally I used my um, envelope punch tool to go ahead and make my uh, envelopes because this paper was uh, the 6x6 uh, six six, so it worked out perfectly that I just made these 4x4s four and I knew that I just had enough of the uh, cardstock to go ahead and make my four cards 
just a little bit different because each one of the boys is just a little bit different in who they are and their own personalities. But I just had to share that with you to show you how cute that is. And this is from Art Impressions and the Action Wobbles. So, like I say, I am having way too much fun with my Christmas cards. And um, I have a few more to make. So, thank you for watching. Bye.